Greetings, greetings, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another fabulous text video. Yes, yes. Guys, if you are seeing us for the very first time, a very special welcome. My name is LaShawn Adesimilolu. This is Moses Adesimilolu. The founders of No, no Limit, Limit Tax Refunds Tucker. Yes. Guys, we help middle class families who are struggling to make ends meet to find all the credits and deductions that are applicable to you so that you can finally pay off those bills, take that vacation, and experience more joy in your life, right? Yes, yes, yes guys. That's what we do. In today's video, we want to talk about three things that the IRS expects from you if you are self-employed. So we get a lot of clients who come to us and they might be um, babysitters, or they uh, braid hair from home, or they do lawn care. They don't have an employer that is giving them a paycheck and they're not expecting a W-2 and they want to know what types of things do I need to file my taxes and really what does the IRS expect me to have when I'm filing my taxes. So let's get right into it, right? So now the first thing that you would actually need is you need to have some kind of documentation, right? So every client that you go to supposedly you go and cut somebody's lawn. When they pay you the cash, you want to document that. Okay, you went to Mr. Brown's house and you got $20. You document this into an Excel sheet or you could have a handwritten logbook where you write these things down. This documentation is where you have the proof of, okay, this is the income that I've made. And you could also invest into a little small little invoice book where this invoice book is where you can write the invoice to the Mr. Brown as he's giving you the cash. So now you're looking more official in presenting yourself as a landscaper, as a hair braider, you know, or whatever is the small business that you are looking into or that you are doing. Yeah, so it's important that when you create in this, some things that you want to have is the client's name, you want to have the date of service, and you want to have how much cash, how much income you made from the service that you provided. All right. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. We know you are not a Fortune 500 company. You know, just something really simple that basically gives that information. It's fine for us and it's fine for the IRS. Yes, right. Something very, very simple. You don't have to complicate it. A lot of you uh, uh, have a computer. You could just download Excel or use Excel. You don't want to use that you could just get a logbook right and just write this information down this will really set you apart from those who, who are not doing it. right so number two a lot of clients that we have uh travel like in this day and age more and more people are mobile so we have mobile hair braiders mobile child care professionals we have uh, landscapers who go mobile we have there's also caterers we have designers if you travel to a client's home regularly, it is really beneficial for you to invest in a uh, mileage log. You can go to the dollar store and get uh, a mileage log book. And every time, or you can also download my IQ app. Every time that you are going from your home or you know someplace to a client's home, you want to track that mile. So again, you want to have the date that you're going to it. You want to have what your odometer is reading before you leave to go to that person's house and what is it um, once you get back, right? So track that mile because you can um, you can get some credits uh, based on how much miles you're using to travel for work. Yeah. So that is number two. Make sure you start writing down your mileage so that you can uh, benefit from that. Why you have your mileage? very important because if you use your business I mean if you use your car for your business whatever models that you put on the car whatever wear and tear that you do on the car can be written off so this is why it's important to have this documentation like LaShawn said you look at the beginning mileage and you jot that down once you come back that's the end of mileage you jot that down every trip that you take you jot it down and then as trust me in 365 days, that mile is going to accumulate up and it will really be beneficial when it's time for you to file your taxes and 
gain that credit. Right. Use that right to your tax professional. Yes. So number three is you want to have a client list. So this is important uh, for the IRS would want this. This is something your tax professional might like to see. And it's even good for you as a business owner. How many times do we get a client and you know we, we might have had them months ago and we never hear from them again and then we don't follow up with them? If you actually have a dedicated place that you place all your clients' information, their name, uh, address, phone number, email address, things like that, you can always follow back up with that client. So anytime you get a new client in your business, have a log that you actually put their information on. In the event of an audit, I'm knocking on wood for you, you can present that to the IRS to show, hey, this is a valid business. Here is a list of my client's information. Um, this is a legitimate business. And then, you know, you know, one time in a year when business might not be going so good, somebody that has bought from you before is likely to buy from you again. So follow up. There is money in the follow up. Call them, email them, you know, you, you use me back on this date. Would you like to use me again? So that is a do for you. And that's something else that the IRS would like to have um, to validate your business. This is just the three points that you will need as a self-employed individual who is just looking to just get better in life. Right. Now, the first one, this, we're bringing a recap, okay, just so for people that are just joining. The first one is, first, keep the legend, keep a, keep a client log, keep a, a ledger to where you are actually saying, okay, this person paid me, there's the ledger, I'm jotting it down, and you also have it. Um, a client invoice that uh, a receipt book to where you are giving this clients these things as they give you the cash. Right. Excel is a great way to have a ledger or you can write it down. The second one is the mileage log book. Having a mileage log book and a mile IQ uh, app is very, very good. There are other various apps that you could download as well with a kick track of your miles. Very, very great way for you to keep track of your mileage because it's very important. Third one is having a client list. There's a lot of money in that follow up. So, following up on old clients who you might have not seen for a while. Say, okay, look, now I want to hit you up and see if you still need my services. So, having a client list will keep you organized and keep you just ready to be great. That's you know right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. We will be back again very, very soon with even more tax tips to help you this tax season. Guys, if you are looking for IRS registered, proficient, and efficient tax professionals to help you this year, be sure to book a consultation Free. using the link in the comment section. Yes. We can process you virtually. It doesn't matter where you are located. We can absolutely help you, and we would love to be your tax accountants this year. Yes, we would love to help you out to where you could actually live that life that you are looking to lead, pay off these bills, get that joy that you are looking to have, and live your life freely. That's right. Like and share this video, guys. Subscribe to us right here. And just let people know that you have the neighborhood tax accountants, the neighborhood tax professionals, the neighborhood tax premiums here for your good. All right. So next time, guys, peace, peace. and much love. Much love and blessings.